What you're hearing right now is audio from the Sennheiser E835S. In this video, I will do an unboxing of this microphone that I got for 99 bucks, so that way you can see exactly what you get inside the box. I will also go over some features that make this perform exceptionally well. I'll explain who I think this microphone is for and in what scenarios I think you would get best results. And lastly, of course, I will tell you that there is an affiliate link in the description below for this microphone where I earn a tiny commission, but at no extra cost to you. So check that out if you want. So before we begin, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button down below. It helps out the channel and gives me an ego boost. All right, that's enough of the intro. Let's open this up. Okay, so when you first open up the box, you see the microphone. So we're gonna take this out. So it looks like there's nothing else in the box, but if you peel this part out, we can see it has uh, a holder microphone holder that attaches to the uh, the boom, which is the setup that I have right now. Yeah, in case you were wondering how I was able to get Sennheiser audio while it's here, it's because I have two. So we have this, then we have a Sennheiser carrying pouch for the microphone. Honestly, I never use these things, but they are, I guess, nice to have. It's nice for them to offer, but I mean, whatever. Then we have some papers here. Um, this one is a quick start guide, so it's got some nice pictures, and then this one, there's some Japanese and other languages that I can't read, there's German, I'm just guessing what these languages are, and I found the English, so it explains things about the warranty, oh, so it's just a warranty thing, all right. Okay, let's set this down, clear some of this out, and let's go over some features of this microphone. This is pretty much it. It's a microphone with an on and off switch. And there you have it. So thank you so much for watching, subscribe. Just kidding. Okay, so yes, there is not much to look at, but one thing that makes this microphone work so well is the XLR connection. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be an expert on audio, but what I can tell you is that generally speaking, XLR cables sound better and sound cleaner than three and a half millimeter TRS cables. This is because XLR cables are balanced while three and a half millimeter TRS cables are not. Well, what does that mean? In simplest terms, XLR cables offer a protection against external interference that would potentially degrade the audio as the signal travels from the microphone to the recording device. This way, the recorded audio is how it sounded when it left the mic. Three and a half millimeter TRS cables do not offer such protection against interference and are more likely to degrade the audio as the signal travels down the line. All right, that's enough about cables, moving on. The quick guide says that this has a cardioid pickup pattern, which means that the microphone picks up audio the strongest from directly in front. It does pick up audio from the sides and rejects a lot of the audio coming from the rear. To demonstrate this point, I'm going to pull this mic off of the boom. And I'm just going to turn this mic around like this, so that way you can hear the difference of how the microphone picks up my voice relative to the direction that is pointing. That should be clear enough. Let's put this back up here. So the cardioid pickup pattern is very good at reducing ambient noise and only picking up audio from the subject. I really like the sound of this mic. What you have been listening to is unprocessed audio. I mean, I did increase the volume for the video, but I didn't touch any audio effects, I didn't touch the equalizer, and it has a very smooth and rich sound. So who is this microphone for? I'd say this mic is for anyone who's looking for professional looking audio on a budget. Because of its affordability and high quality sound, I think the only reason why someone wouldn't get this is because their recording device is not XLR compatible. As for what types of shoots this is meant for, I'd say anything except run and gun. Obviously because it does require a bulky XLR cable, I mean you really can't mount this on top of a camera. And while its pickup pattern is cardioid, it is limited in range, so like you really have to be fairly close. I think this mic is only maybe six inches away from my face. You do have to be very close to the mic in order to get good sounding audio. So things like interviews or talking headshots like this, anything that has a controlled environment where you won't be having to move around a lot. I am very much a fan of the Sennheiser E835S. 
I love the price. I love the sound. If you want to try it, there is a link down in the description below. So check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that like button and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.